goodness, I'm in heaven. Holy moly. That's chicken mushroom. Awesome. Mommy's favorite. Come here, Quinn. Look. Now we can make chicken pie out of Now we can make chicken pie. Yeah. Well, these are nice, not as fresh. These are probably a couple days old. They're not as fresh as the first ones we found, but these are definitely still good to eat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But they're a little bit tougher. You want to get them like there. Feel that one. That one's that one's pretty fat. Nice. These are actually getting close to drying out. Yummy. Look at that. Daddy, do you want to go get some more and find? Oh, we're going to find more. Absolutely. If we found two. Wow. Wow. Now that's holy moly. That is holy moliness. <laughs> Why does that sound squeaky? Look at that. Why does it sound squeaky? Because they're squeaky mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, these are these are at least a couple days old. I'm not gonna take all of them. I'm just gonna take the top ones. What is that? Let them drop their spores and reproduce. Oh. The Holy bottom ones are getting kind of old anyways. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. we got to get a hold of Dad before he goes to Genie's. He'll take some over there and oh. cook them up. My goodness, I'm in heaven. Holy moly. Holy moly. Yeah. Yeah. Holy moly. Oh, there's one. That one, see, when they start fading, you don't want those. You want the ones that are nice and bright orange. Aww. Okay, that's one? enough here. We'll leave these alone. That's getting really thin. When they're thin, they get really chewy and woody. Oh my gosh, just a big oyster mushroom. Well, let's see if it's what it is. It looks like it. No, that's not oyster. That is Dryad Saddle, also known as Pheasant Bat. Smells like watermelon rind. Is it edible? They taste like watermelon rind. They're nasty. <laughs> They're listed as edible. The only thing I've found you can do is slice them in thin strips and fry them in bacon grease so they taste like, until they're crisp, so they taste like bacon. There's a recipe I found for pickled pheasant back. Nastiest stuff I ever tasted. This is in the polypore family. It's got pores instead of gills. It's bleached out because it's old. But you can't mistake them. Usually they're brown. They got speckles on them. They're a little bit lighter than this with brown. They got flecks on them. That's why it's called pheasant back. Looks like pheasant feathers. But you know, when you smell them, they smell like watermelon rind. Should have came the day before the rain and the day after. Well, this is the day after, but these apparently came up before the rain set. These have been here at least four or five days. They're still decent. If we don't find any others, we'll come back and get more. Oh, those are perfect. Are they? These are gonna taste so good. Yeah, see how they're thicker there and they're kind of rubbery at the ends. That's what you want. You want them rubbery at the ends. Caleb, Jayla, this is what you want to find here. Maybe you'll find some in Frankenmuth. I don't know, but looky here. Caleb and Jayla. Caleb, I know you've never seen these before, but look at this. Mmm. <laughs> Too bad you're not home to enjoy some of these. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at this. Yeah. We are get, definitely we gonna totally we're here. definitely gonna harvest these. And we're not gonna rip them off either. Okay. We don't want to rip those off because I'm mushroom the rhizomes in there they'll produce more we rip them out we ruin it oh my goodness look at this that is beautiful sulfur shelf mushroom is what they're called sulfur shelf because you're yellow yellow on the bottom bright yellow and bright orange on top this is picture perfect and oh so delicious. Oh, if only Caleb could be here right now. 
the harvest of the century. Oh my goodness. Look at these. See this one? That's just starting. We'll leave that one there. See how these are flat or spongy on the ends? That's perfect. That's what you want. Once they get very flat, they turn very fibrous and chewy. These here though, you slice these up and slice them in strips or do whatever you want. You'd swear you're eating chicken. The texture is so good. And we'll leave this there. This, this log's probably been producing them for over the years for many years. And it'll keep producing as long as this log's here. Mushrooms feed off the carbohydrates of the wood. They're actually, that's what's breaking down the wood. These have like a root system that runs all through this log. And every time it gets wet, they're thriving in here and they're breaking down the wood. And then this time of year, you get the cool evenings, the warm days, and you get a lot of moisture. This is the fruit of the fungus. These come out, I follow you like just like morels or anything else, they come out and then they'll drop millions of spores that the wind will carry and they'll find new logs. This is the fruit. The actual organism, the fungus itself is growing all through this. If you were to cut this open, you'd see like a bunch of little fine white hairs running all through this. You hold that, please. These, these are chicken mushrooms in their early stage. These are just coming out, probably last night. These are gonna continue to come out like these down here. I'm not gonna pick these because there's gonna be so much more mushroom here tomorrow. We're gonna come back tomorrow and these will be prime for picking. I'm just getting, we got some uh, Virginia creeper crawling around this and some sticks and stuff. We'll just kind of get out of the way. This thing's gonna be huge tomorrow. So we're gonna come back, we're gonna leave this go and we're gonna come back tomorrow and get this. We just need to mark this spot. We gotta find this hill and just come back down through here so we can find it tomorrow because these are gonna be choice tomorrow. See how they look like cauliflower? These tonight, this evening, they're gonna expand and they're gonna they're gonna come out like this. Daddy. But they're gonna be more fresh like those. So it, it's a, just a shame to harvest these now because this is gonna get twice this size. See this little fat one up here? These are just amazing. So these will come back for tomorrow. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> yep. Turning you. If we can just get you to learn how to find truffles, we'll be in business. <laughs> what truffles? Truffles are underground. You need you need pigs to find truffles. Oh geez. Because they have a high sense of smell. The only way you can find truffles underground is pigs. They'll snort and root them up. Okay. So they don't. I've heard they grow around here. I've never found any, or I never looked. I never brought a pig out here, but they're huge in England. Mm -hmm. But they actually grow underground. The only way to find them is with pigs. The pigs smell them and root them up. All right, let's keep looking. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Perfection. I got you another stick, Dad. Jackpot. Wait, Thank I, you, Isaac. You can have your stick. Your real stick. <laughs> Nice. Awesome. Ow, 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 ow. These are the ones that came up first. They're getting thinner. Oh yeah. They're still good though. This is awesome. There, that's enough. I'm mm -hmm.